I'd be remiss if I didn't ask though, because to me, there's been a ton of storylines this summer in the NBA. We're just talking yep. NBA. I know I hear you talk blue and orange skies all the time. That was a big trade, right? Yep. You got Paul George to Philadelphia. That's an awesome thing. Clay leaves Golden State, which is crazy. And, you know, it's a it's a big shift in the landscape of things. You got Bronny playing with Bron in 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 LA. What where do you think in, in, in all those headlines, what do you think are the most important for the NBA that sits right now? And where do you think it goes from here? Is it is it Clay to the Mavs? Is it CP3 to the Spurs? Is it Paul George to Philadelphia? Is it Bronny playing with Bron? Like, what's the storyline, and and where are you at with that? Well, Clay to the Mavs is important because the Mavs were just in the finals, mm -hmm. so we're going to see the difference between what he could do for them compared to what Derrick Jones did for them. Your dude, my guy, brother can ball defensively just couldn't shoot like yeah. you know how I told different you different skill I, sets I, 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 those different skill sets those are different skill sets right but he can play yes. and, and 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 he got himself a contract and I'm happy for him but Clay if that brother Clay Thompson shot 41 percent from threes in since the all-star yes. break Yes. And forty five percent from yes. the field, yes. and average close to twenty points. Everybody walking yeah. around acting yeah. like anybody could yes. do that. Hey, 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 the hey, brother spent the first that, nine, of, nine, nine of his first yeah. ten years in the league. He spent yeah, the first say, nine of his ten years there. in the league no. shooting better I, than forty percent from three point range. Clay Thompson yeah. is special. Yes, and I got love for him. It's gonna see. We gonna see what happens because age and father time is undefeated. But it's not just because he's with the Mavs. We gotta wonder what impact that's gonna have on Steph and the Warriors. Steph mm. not having him to lean on. Kaminga and Pajimski got to elevate their game. Yes. Okay, I love to pick up a Buddy Heald. I think that works for them, right? But it still doesn't mean that more is not going to be required of Steph. And if that is the case, what is that going to bleed from him? We got to ask ourselves that. That's number one. Number two, Paul George. If Embiid is healthy, mm. there's no excuse. There's no excuses. Embiid on one leg averaged 35 against the Knicks. Mm. On one leg. Mm. We know how big time Embiid is. We know that Tyrese Maxey is special. Brother got $204 million extension. Yes. I felt sorry for him. He deserved more. I know that's the max they could give him. You know, but I'm just talking about his greatness. He deserved more. I know they couldn't give him Bad more, boy. but he deserved more. If Paul George is what Paul George is supposed to be, yes. Maxey, Embiid, and Paul George, as much as I love my Knicks, orange and blue skies, baby, they don't come before Philly and Boston. We know Boston's on another level. They yes. the champions. They the reigning defending champions. And we'll see what happens with them. But Embiid with Maxie and Paul George, yes, I believe in that. That's big. Look, the Knicks, rough riders, hard nose, yeah. fight you, fight you. I didn't like the loss of Hartenstein, but – OG and Mikael Bridges were yes. the priority. Man. I got to get those two. Man. I got to keep those two. All right? I got to get Bridges. I got to keep OG. The, I, 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 look, damn it. I like Hartenstein. We should be able to replace him. Yeah. We should be able to replace him. Okay? Um, I wish I could say more about y'all Miami Heat. I don't believe. Um, I believe they'll be good. Um, can't rule out Bam. Can't rule out Tyler. Can't rule out uh, J J Jimmy, Bu Jimmy Buckets. I get that never ruling out Spolstra, who I think is a Hall of Fame coach, one of the greatest coaches we've ever seen. I love I love Spolstra. And damn it, as long as Pat Riley is around, there's no such thing as the word suck when it comes to anything he mm. touches. I just don't believe it. So because Amen. of that, I like it. My problem with Miami is twofold. I really wish y'all had gotten DeMar DeRozan. I really think that would have helped y'all. Yeah. You didn't get it done. You didn't get Damian Little last year, which I thought would have helped y'all. You didn't get it done. Um, so you need somebody because that way you can keep Jimmy around if so be, if so be it. And he can help you be there at those big moments, but you don't need him that much during the yeah. 82 games. Yeah. Right. But you also need to get a legit big man. So bam out of buyer can be the natural four that he is. You don't have that. You're asking a lot of him. I'm glad he got a extension. Yeah. He deserved every penny. I wish him nothing but the best, but you need a bigger body to throw out there with him so you're not asking so much from him. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important. Oh, my, 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 my.